everyone for today's video i'm going to share with you this halloween project that i created using the new halloween die sets from scrap diva designs i'll share with you my project and then i'll show you the dies that i used so this is the french fry box and it's this die set right here and it's a great size and you can see it has the layering pieces where it has stitching so that's the side and then there's the back which also has the layering piece so it fits you can see a lot of goodies in here so that's a, a fry box and what's nice is it also comes with these hearts um, which i didn't use because i wanted to, um, to be a halloween theme so you can see you can use that die for any um, theme which is great okay so that is the fry box for the tag that I made here, it's using this die and stamp set. And I use the Stamp Witch Power. And I hung it with a garment pin. And then for the scallop tag, I used the design paper. And then for the circle tag, I used uh, this white cardstock with a dimensional underneath. And then I stamped the word Witch Power and then this circle. And I love, if you notice the font, it has like these little extra dots on the words and it's really cute. I love it. it. Gives it that Halloween vibe to it. And I love that. Okay, so that is that die stamp set. And then for the front, I use the cauldron, which was, um, let's see if I get that done. This one right here, it's the shaker one. I use vellum instead of clear acetate. And then you can see the shakers inside. And then I layered that cauldron using, let's see here, I got several dies here. So I use this add-on die set that's designed for the gumball machine. So I used that spider web. And then this is the skulls which is another die set, which is this one. So I used the skull with some gold card stock, and then I layered it with the design paper, and it comes with this cute bow. And then I also used Erica's glitter enamel dots. I love these. So she has, let's see here. She has these enamel dots available in her shop. So I used down the center of the bow. And then I added this cute little spider right here in the corner. So that's that die set. And then I'll show you what I added inside. So let's see here, the first one, this is also using that add-on die set, which I use the smaller dies to create confetti. You can see, and then I just added some diamond dots. And then I took the hat from that same die set to make it into a bag topper. And then I added the cute little spider. And so you can make some confetti with that. Um, these are the cute witch bows, which I love. So this is a larger one, and then this is a smaller one. And how cute is that bow? So that is using, let's see, where's that? Um, this die set right here. I use that and it makes really cute embellishments so you can add that in the fry box and then I made the cute little pendant flag now Erica did mention to me um, um, after I had posted the video that the word eek was misspelled which they are correcting that and um, that's why you probably don't see it in the shop but I use the word trick and treat to create my banner. So I use some gold cardstock in the background and then I use the two words with the design paper. And then you can see on the top, I add the glitter enamel dot and that could be added to the fry box. And then here I use the skull bag topper, which is really fun, love this. I use some silver glitter cardstock for the skulls. So there's two different sizes. I use the smaller of the size. 
and then I added it to the bag, these clear bags. And then here are some more of those tags. So you got Happy Haunting and Candy Please. And then I had two more in the back there. But it makes a cute bag topper. And then I made an extra one right here. So if you want to gift these. And then these are the cute spider shakers. So again, I used some vellum. And that is this die set right here. So you can make some fun embellishments with those. And then let's see one more. I made some cute little candy corn embellishments. And that is this die set. So you can see with all the dice that I had shared, you can make a really fun um, gift of em Halloween embellishments that you can give to a crafty friend and it fits all nicely inside this try box. And then just put this in here and then the cute flag. Isn't that cute? So yeah, I'll put um, all the links to the dies um, down below. And thanks everyone for watching. Bye.